Hi everybody, this is Deanna with Ferns Frills and I'm coming to you from my makeshift um, scrap room here. <laughs> Mine is in total disarray. My brother is making me a new one, but I got my essentials. Got my computer and all my little stuff. And we're going to make the little fan that I did um, for the purse swap on the altered page what's in your vintage purse and everybody liked that little fan so I'm going to make a little tutorial on how to do it first things first cut out six <laughs> of the little fans so we're gonna do this in steps because I don't know where my tripod is so we're just gonna do this hod hodgepodge I guess alright that's good for now be back in a minute Okay, so here we go. We have six of them and they're painted. And I actually, and on the one side, you want to just leave because this is going to be matted. Unless, of course, you want to mat both sides. And that's entirely up to you. And I just use regular, you know, regular um, cheapo acrylic paint. And I use the matte finish of um, Mod Podge. I find that here in the area that I'm at, it works a little bit better than the shiny. Shiny tends to um, stick a little bit, but the matte doesn't at all. So, and this is the back. I didn't need them uh, shiny. It's pretty shiny as it is. So, anyway, it just protects it. And I would suggest doing that anytime you paint either with some kind of gel medium or Mod Podge or. Um, finisher because it just um, protects the surface and it makes it a little more durable and resistant to water and that kind of thing so there we go now I am going to cut I believe this one is going to be um, a light green in color so I'm going to um, cut out these the centers which I did an eighth of an inch smaller and glue them down and then we'll be back for the last part thanks okay I kinda wanted to show you I decided on this gray because I like it I'm gonna do something a little bit different but I want to show you the difference between um, not having your edges inked and having your edges inked with this I have just very lightly inked the edge of this with um, black soot and when I put it on my um, deal I already have glue on it um, you see how it kind of just kind of fades in there if you don't have that you get more of a, an effect where it just it just stops and you see the difference in the paper and the and the chipboard it just doesn't it's just not near as nice when you don't edge it when you do it just with whatever color you know either the color of the paper or the color of the um, chipboard you're going to get that effect and especially with things that you're going to be cutting out by hand you really want to try to um, you're going to have imperfections in there that's all there is to it it's not going to be perfect but when you edge it they aren't near as noticeable okay so I have attached all my papers inked them all attached them all and I decided to put some bling on there and the little red dots just randomly here and there I just put a stickles dot and I took a rose that I made with the tattered uh, florals dye and uh, glossy accented it and put um, glitter on there and I made me a little um, cut a piece of organza ribbon and I finished the edges with 
nail polish, just regular old nail polish on the ends to make them not fray. Can't see it, don't even know it's there. It is, I don't glob it on, I don't do anything with it. You don't know it's there, but it will not fray from now on. So, then I went through and I poked, where is it? Oh, there we go. I poked a hole in the center with the big, with the large hole of either the big bite or the um, crocodile doesn't make any difference, um, but the larger hole. And you get this little thingy, and even the guy at the hardware store couldn't tell me what it is. But it, what it is, it's a, this one is a three eighths of an inch. And so they're flat on each side. One side's a screw, the other just looks like a little hole there. And what it does is that screws into the other dealy. And so, I am going to sit this down and see if I can do it where you can see it. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so we start with putting the, um, the non-screw side. See, here's the screw. We still have it out here. We're going to put that through there, and it is going to be very, um, it's a pretty tight fit, but it does fit. And then, now these, I just cut little cardboard washers, because they're not going to be, it's not going to be used, really, it's just for display. So, I'm going to put a washer in between here, because I did stickle them, so they need just a little tiny bit of space in between each one, not to rub those stickles off. Now, if you wanted this to actually function as a fan, and you know, and all that good kind of stuff, which it will do. Um, it's perfectly fine. But you're going to have to um, use a washer that is um, cut a hole in like a piece of, oh, this like plastic that you get your perfect pearls on. Use those because they're slick. You can cut a hole right through there and use them the same way. No one's ever going to see them or anything, but it will help your um, your piece to stay together and slide back and forth a little easier. Okay, so you get them all threaded on the post, and you just take your screw, screw it right into there. And look at that. Let's let me pick you up here again. Try to do with one hand. It is a little tough, but you know. There you go. Now I'm going to put the eye, I'm going to put my little piece on top of the screw, and this on top of that, and it'll be done. So we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so there it is, all finished. There it is out, and ooh, look, I'm going to make one like that. Um, You'll see that in a minute. And there it is closed. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is going to be on. This is going to be a giveaway for the um, Little Scrap of Heaven blog hop on the 15th. And come to my blog. This is my second giveaway on there. And of course, I might have some of those other wonderful giveaways that we're having. We're having. I mean, there's going to be, well, at least 15 giveaways that I know of. Uh, 12 that are from companies. So you need to come, you need to participate in the Little Scrap of Heaven blog hop. The 15th through the 22nd. I think we're going to have um, YouTube hops a little later um, that week. So there you go. If you like it, I think it's real cute. And the templates are over there too. Thanks so much. Bye bye.